Well, thank you very much. We've just spent a wonderful few minutes with Mama Lea Tutu and the family and the friends who are paying their condolences and comforting uh, the family, like Bishop Mpumluana, as well as uh, Dr. Rampele Rampele, who has been a lifelong friend to the bishop, and as you recall, a lifelong friend to also President Mandela. So she's been a constant mainstay uh, to the two outstanding leaders that our country has uh, produced. A lot of great things can be said about him. His global status, the love that he was and is being showered with from across the various uh, countries in the world just speaks volumes of what he stood for and what people see so in him as a great leader. So we are enormously diminished by his passing, but at the same time we are filled with a celebratory moment that we should use this opportunity to celebrate his life and to try and draw as much as we possibly can the various good things that he sought to impart to us. So as we say in African parlance, a huge tree has fallen and it is a tree under which we as Africans, as the children of this great country, South Africa, found refuge, found shade, found protection, and this tree has now fallen. But for us is to pick up the branches of this tree and march forward, seeking always to try and hold up the branches of this tree so that the spirit that Desmond Tutu represented can actually infuse us to do much more. He wanted us to do much more than what we are doing and uh, his life is an inspiration for us to do precisely that. Mr. President, can you confirm for us if you will have a class one funeral? Oh yes, absolutely. It is uh, class one with um, uh, religious characteristics. <laughs> <laughs>